Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to school and we're talking all about schools in the Twin Cities, so don't go anywhere. All right, now here's what you need to know, first of all, about Minnesota schools. Across the board, they're really, really good. So regardless of which district you're in, uh, my kids, we've actually got four kids. They're all in elementary school right now. And our district, I was surprised to see, was actually rated kind of average of any of the Minnesota districts. But we've been incredibly impressed. I mean, we've got one of our kids is in, uh, he was on the autistic spectrum for a little bit and he needed some extra services. The district stepped in, got him all kinds of programs. Um, and we've just been nothing but incredibly impressed. And that district isn't even one of our top ones in Minnesota. So you know you can't go wrong. I did a little research for you. WalletHub.com says Minnesota's number seven in the entire country country for school districts. So that's incredibly good. We're also number one in the whole US for median SAT scores, and then number two for highest math scores. So overall across the board, really, really can't go wrong. Alarms.org also said we've got 25 of the top 500 school districts right here in Minnesota. So again, you just can't go wrong across the state. All right, now let me break it down for you. I've got five different categories that I'm gonna hit you with. We'll talk about STEM, sports, diversity, test scores, and then special need options. So I'm gonna break them down for you and I'm gonna tell you which ones are our highest rated school districts according to the different websites. So let's start with niche.com for most diversity. So this is gonna be the widest diversity among the school districts. We've got North St. Paul Maplewood coming in at the number one place. That's over in uh, St. Paul Maplewood area towards the east. Number two, we've got Minneapolis Public Schools, so very, very diverse, not really surprising. Again, number three is St. Paul. Uh, in the more urban areas, of course, you're gonna have a little bit higher diversity there. Also, you've got number four is Burnsville Egan Savage School District, which is down to the South Metro, if you're looking down there. Or number five, Robbinsdale School District, which that's up uh, kind of in the north, just slightly west of Minneapolis. Uh, in that Robbinsdale, New Hope area there. So, tons of diversity, if that's what's important to you, those are some school districts that you can look at. Next, let's look at STEM scores. So these are gonna be the highest rated schools in the state according to their STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math situation. Number one, over in Woodbury, we've got the Math and Science Academy. Number two, we've got Nova Classical. You're gonna see that one come up quite a bit, uh, but that's a, a school over in St. Paul. Third, we've got Orno School District. So this one's over in Long Lake. This one's over to our west. So if you're looking out in the West Metro and STEM's important to you, you can look at Orno as well. Next, let's look at special education schools in the Twin Cities. Our highest one in Minnesota is actually way up in Duluth. So not quite in the Metro, but that's Northern Lights Academy. And then the next three are actually over in Monticello. They're high school, middle school, and then Pinewood Elementary is all in Monticello. So perhaps if you've got a kid in special needs, you can look up in the Monticello area. That would be in our North uh, West Metro there. Um, just a little ways out of the Twin Cities, but Monticello, some really great options. And then down in Minneapolis, we've got Sun Special Education School there that you can check out in Minneapolis as well. Fourth, why don't we look at the SAT scores in Minnesota. So again, we've got Math and Science Academy over in Woodbury and then Nova Classic in St. Paul, two really highly rated schools there. St. Croix Prep, we've got over in Stillwater. So if you're looking out to the far east side, that could be a good option for you. And then Edina and Minnetonka coming in Edina just in the Minneapolis area there to the southwest, and then Minnetonka further out to the straight west. And then last, why don't we look at schools that are best for athletes. If you've got kids in sports, these are a few schools that you could consider. Number one, we've got Minnetonka out to our straight west. St. Michael Albertville School District, very highly demanded. That's a little bit further out to the metro. If you're looking for more in the suburbs, you can go St. Michael Albertville direction. Wyzetta coming in at number three. That one's a really highly rated school for pretty much everything across the board over in Wyzetta. Uh, number four, we've got Matamita Public Schools. This one's over towards the St. Paul area, a little north. So if you're looking over there uh, and athletics is important, you could look at Matamita. Uh, number five coming in is Orno. So that one's again over in the Metatonica Wyzetta area. Uh, lots of highly rated sports over on the west side. All right, that's a wrap for the best schools in Minnesota. We'd love to hear your comments down below. Let us know which schools did we miss, which ones do you love, which ones do you hate. Let's duke it out there. And of course, when you're ready for any more help moving in the Twin Cities, you know who to call. My name is Joe Carmack, and all my info is down below. Thanks so much. Have a great day.